beautiful collectors and action figure fans. It's the one and only off the bottom is coming at you with another video review. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the new Marvel Legends X-Men Age of Apocalypse Weapon X. This is one I was really looking forward to getting. As you can see with the Marvel Legends, you have that open window allowing you to see the figure as well as his accessories, uh, which appears to be uh, predominantly one of Sugar Man's legs. Side of the package here has that image of Wolverine or Weapon X in this universe with the Apocalypse right up there. Same on the other side, come around the back. You can see that he's the fifth figure in this wave that allow you to collect all of them and build the eighth figure being Sugar Man. And it says, armed with adamantium claws and superhuman healing abilities, Weapon X joins the battle against Apocalypse. The character arc for Weapon X in the Age of Apocalypse series was really very good. And like I said, I was really looking forward to this figure. But for the packaging on him, that's about it. So without further ado, let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. All right, now, Weapon X initially did not want to join the X-Men. He, however, reconsidered after meeting the team's telepath, Jean Grey, and the two instantly had a connection and became lovers. In secret, Logan trained Magneto's newer recruits, including Kitty Pride, who Magneto asked Weapon X to train to become an assassin. Weapon X taught Shadowcat everything that he knew and even crafted a pair of claws for her with Magneto's help. That if you actually read the series, you could see the claws that were actually made for her. Now, one day while the X-Men were on a mission, Jean Grey was captured. This would eventually lead to her DNA being extracted by Sinister to create Nate Grey. Logan begged Magneto to send the team to save her, but Magneto refused. So Weapon X left the team and went out on his own. He broke into Sinister's lab and was able to free Jean. During that escape, he encountered prelate Scott Summers, who engaged Weapon X in a very ferocious battle resulting in Weapon X gouging one of Summer's eyes and Logan losing his left hand. After this, Logan and Jean refused to return to the X-Men, deciding to work on their own. And after several months of guerrilla warfare, they were actually contacted by Sinister, who revealed Apocalypse's plan to attack and destroy the humans in Europe. Logan and Jean delivered this information to the Human High Council, which was basically like the Resistance, and eventually learned that the Council's planned to launch nuclear missiles on America to stop Apocalypse. Now, this did not sit well with Jean at all, and she left to warn the X-Men of the upcoming nuclear obliteration. Weapon X, though, stayed behind with the Human Council, who was then attacked by a group of genetically altered humans created by Mikhail Rasputin, the brother of Colossus. Weapon X eventually did defeat them, but not before they destroyed the guidance systems of the Sentinels, who were carrying the nuclear missiles. Weapon X then traveled and retrieved a man known as Gateway, who because of his mutant ability, would be able to teleport the Sentinel fleet and nuclear missiles with his mutant power. The plan started and the fleet took off. However, it was attacked by another altered human led by Donald Pierce. Weapon X eventually defeated him by extending the claws that still reside in his handless arm. When Logan reached America, he parachuted down to New York City looking for Jean. He arrived, however, to see her murdered by a plasma blast from prelate Alex Summers. Enraged, Weapon X murdered Alex and sat by his lover's side as the nuclear warheads fell on America. Really a very fun take on this character. And the figure is just as incredible. Now for his accessories, uh, he does come with the leg for Sugar Man. I don't remember which one it is, but he comes with one and Morph comes with one. So um, you get a right and left one with the two figures. So I'm just going to show this, but it's a little stubby little sucker. When you compare his legs, to his arms, and that's that's kind of funny. It just wants to focus on Wolverine, so let's just do that. But really, I mean, that's about it. We'll take a look at all this when we build it. And then he does come with that bit that I was talking about. Wolverine, despite the fact that you can see he's missing a hand, still retains the claws. They're still like stored 
up in his forearm. And that's what this replicates. You can see you got the blades on there. You got the little nub section. For this, you just come around here, just pegs on there. Just pop that off and you can put that on. Uh, now, I see a lot of people that aren't too familiar with a, uh, Age of Apocalypse wanting to do it like this. Really, for me, the, the look for him, though, was this. Uh, so I'm glad that they included this because it was a, a fairly pivotal part in the series. And I think that they needed to include it. But to me, it just looks weird leaving it on there because this is predominantly how he looked through the entire series. But this figure is great. Th I mean, I, I love Wolverine. He's super fun. This might have been one of my favorite versions of him. And the figure is really well done as well. I, I don't know, again, what they've reused or whatever, but obviously the head sculpt is completely new. Coming in to take a closer look at that. The head sculpt is fantastic. You can see very big bushy hair. You got a little piece of strand coming down here covering up one of his eyes which looks good. You got some nice red paint on there. Gorgeous angry look to the face. You can even see like a little bit of stubble throughout the chin and then the cheek area comes up here and then gets absolutely incredible and just big. It does have that real big gap there which I'm not a big fan of. I like I said, I wish they did something with that because especially like with this, when you turn it, it just kind of looks weird. But great detail with the suit. One thing that is amazing is they actually painted the uh, hair on his arms. I don't know of another Wolverine that figure that has had that. That is fantastic looking that they did that. Really nice skin tone on it as well. The uh, red detail goes around to the back of the figure as well. You got the X-Men belt right there. You got that nice red pattern on his wrist. Of course, you do have the adamantium claws. They can remove, although it is a bit of a pain in the butt. You can take those out if you want, and then they just kind of peg in there. But getting them in, while simple, uh, tends to make them like get out of position properly so you can take that off if you want but i'm not going to worry about it too much great detail with the the legs and then you come down to the boot overall i mean a great looking figure really really is like i said you can choose however you want to display him for me though like i said predominantly this is how it looked that was a very iconic kind of scene in, in the whole thing and i loved how that actually worked and i like the fact that they include it so um not a lot of accessories with these figures but some of them come with some good ones articulation is all the same you got the ball joint the hinge the hinge the swivels the hinges the swivels the ball joints all that stuff it's all there you got the weird ass rocker for the ankle so all that articulation is there but absolutely love uh the figure uh really like i said i'm a, I'm a wolverine fan um and while the Age of Apocalypse is probably my favorite storyline, Wolverine is definitely one of my favorite characters from it. I, I just, something about the, the way that the story progressed with him, um, I, I, I really don't know. I mean, knowing that uh, he lost his hand because of Scott Summers, knowing that Scott Summers lost his eye because of him, it's just, it's fun. I mean... A lot of X-Men fans have wanted to see those two go at it for a long time. So knowing that they had a history and some severe you know, physical damage done to them because of that is cool. Plus, I like the fact that Jean Grey is actually with him. I always felt bad for Wolverine because he never got the girl. Well, this time he did. So I would recommend them. Obviously, all of these are great figures. The looks on them are fantastic. It may not be your a cup of tea because you may not be familiar with Age of Apocalypse, or if you are, you may not like it. I know that Shardimus Prime, uh, he and I have talked about it, and he didn't really remember it too much, but because of my encouragement, he went back and read it, and he actually really liked it. So now I know he's really excited about getting these figures, so that's cool. And I mean, obviously, you got to collect all of them to get the pieces to make Sugar Man. If you don't care about getting Sugar Man, I guess it doesn't matter, but I still recommend him. I think he's well worth having. So, all that being said, if this version of Weapon X is one that you would like to add to your collection, he will be hitting various retail locations fairly soon. Or as always, really easy, just go to Big Bad Toy Store. For that, I'll put a link right down in the video description where you can go to BBTS and check out availability on this guy, as well as the rest of the wide range of Marvel Legend figures. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. Remember, if you liked this video, I would really appreciate it if you would do one small thing for me, and that's simply just to hit that thumbs up button. That one 
very small gesture really does go a long way towards helping me out and i would really appreciate it also i want to send a huge shout out to all of my patrons who through their continued support now more than ever help to make reviews like this possible and finally remember the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid